Okay, hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I was about to get on Therese and ride him, but I was just looking at an old video and he had like an outfit there with bandages and everything. Um, but I don't really know how to bandage. Um, first of all, I don't really do it that much. I sometimes ride with the boots in, uh, on the front legs and not really bandaging. Now some people can say something about bandaging that is not good or some people like it. Um, so yeah, I just don't really, really use it, but I really like the look of it and I think it can also be good if you do it right. So that's the problem with me, I just don't really know how to do it and then I'm a bit scared that I do it wrong, too tight, too loose or I... It just looks strange. That gave me the idea to get somebody in here that knows how to do it and okay, they have explained it to me a few times but I just don't really know and I just don't remember. After this I will remember and otherwise I can just check the video again. Okay, I'm not gonna get on Therese here. They're now in the field, it's really nice. Finally some sun again. I feel like we're always talking about the weather here in the Netherlands, but don't we all? <laughs> Few things I know is with the bandaging, you have to be careful, it's not too tight. Um, it can also get really hot underneath, so that's not really good for the tendons. Um, but yeah, that's about, that's about it. And sometimes, of course, I'm just scared that I have it like everything like this and the rest is on the, the rest of the leg there's nothing. Okay, I'm first gonna get the rest of the horses a little piece of an apple. Because I have that still. Chase! Here. A little apple tea. Huh. Sweet. Here, She loves apples. Macho. <coughs> Macho also really likes apples. He always used to escape at the old place and then he went to like look for oh, pears. Pears or apples he doesn't. He just wanted them. Oh. Are you posing like a model? The hair in the wind. Oh. What is that? Hey. Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna bring him to there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna brush you. Might need it. And then we're gonna try. I really hope. Somehow this video ends up going well with good results and I can help a few of you as well. Oh, always oh, like two brothers. Okay, so a few other things I know about bandaging. The one is hydromatic, but it's always good to talk about. <coughs> what I said already that it could become really hot. Oh yeah, and what is yeah, funny in a way as well is when the, one of the first times you put it on the horse. So, uh, actually also with other things they just walk really crazy because it feels strange so also be careful if your horse doesn't know it yet um, that it first of all won't kick and that can be out of fear of course it doesn't have to be mean and the horse can always be very sweet but it can still get shocked by it a little bit so definitely start with the front legs and some people use like a little like bandage pad underneath um, I actually know somebody that makes now customized bandage pads so maybe I'll like put the link below then you can also have a look on that so you can pick to do it with or without I'm gonna do it with because I just like something soft underneath and just to like um, spread the pressure a little bit okay. okay let's get you clean and ready and then I'll see you in a second so and I have some help from <laughs> it's called how many times did you already explain to me how to do this I think many times I've explained yes a few times now how to bandage. I wouldn't consider myself an expert. I wouldn't definitely. I'm not like a vet, You're just trained doing that scientist or anything. Uh, but I've been bandaging my horse for years now, um, and the legs have been fine. So I think I'm doing it right. <laughs> I hope. Yes, but I just I don't know. Every time I, you ask me to do it, I'm like, oh. Yeah, and I think I like <clears> to like r um, roll them up after. And I honestly think like on a horse like him. It's even harder to like uh, start on a horse like Chase where the legs are quite big and you don't have to do so many wraps. It's easier. Why is easier or chase? Because he's got such a small like cannon bone and it's also kind of a thin leg. So it, it'll be harder with him because the bandage will, you'll have to wrap yeah. it more. No. But um Okay, wait. Can you fine. like do it first once and then I'm going to try? Okay. And do you want me to bandage it with like just the bandage or with the bandage wrap as well? I have it. You, what? you want you want <laughs> bandage wrap? <laughs> like the the bandage Bad. wrap. The pad, yeah. Yes, Sorry. I have it with me. You want the bandage pad and the bandage. I have everything here. Set up. Okay, we're gonna oh, yeah, go one. for the back and track. Yes. And yes. then with the blue. Oh, these are really dirty. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because Andres always like loses a lot of hair and I don't really have bandages, so Oh but we have a yours. lot. But we don't have any clean ones? Doesn't matter, no. Oh yeah, maybe we can. I mean it's a bit like 
but I just thought because this one was already used, then you don't have more. Like, oh, don't worry about me. Let's just get you a clean one. Uh, you ready for it? <laughs> we got clean ones. Step number one, yes. So let's be clean. Um. Okay. So and I think maybe also for the people at home, I think something that you have to be like careful of is that if your horse is young or he's not used to you being. I already around, said everything. Oh, you did. Oh. Oh, I mean, you can say there is wow. maybe some things Expert. I didn't. Maybe some things I didn't. Okay, see. one thing that. Okay, did you say that never to be like on your knees like this? No. Okay, always like, oh, always try and stay like uh, crouched down because if you have to move quickly, then it's easier if you're on <laughs> your knees. <laughs> no, but it's true. If you're on your knees and you need to move away quick, um, then it's a lot harder. Why okay. do you do a pad? I thought because of pressure. It's just extra like uh, padding and yeah. protection, and also like if you have a pad, uh, you can kind of distribute. You can kind of distribute the pressure more evenly as well. Do you um, also have bandages with the pad already inside? I don't know. I don't have. Oh, it's so cold. I don't know, but I don't have that. <laughs> okay. So I usually uh, go like this. So I wrap the the leg towards me, um, and then I bring the pad. Wait, and I'm really it? curious because with the rolling from the. I kind of put it in. I kind of put it in front like this. But so then how tight is that? This is not very tight. This is just taking the shape of the leg. Now look how much bandage we have and look at the leg. It's <laughs> tiny. So maybe we can cut it. With him, you, you kind of always have to start from the... But wait, wait, wait. Hold I always slowly. Start from you the need to explain otherwise I okay. can't. You have to... You start I always like start from this. the top. And now that you can see... But in the middle. No, th this is the top, yes. Sir. No, but like on the front of the leg. I put the... Yeah. I stick... Oh my god, I'm going to have to do it again. <coughs> okay, let me do it again better for you. I'm just not great at explaining. It's like one of those things you just do. Okay, so I get the pad and I stick it on the inside here and then I wrap this around a little so then it's stuck inside there. Now you always want to bandage with the pressure on the cannon bone, not the tendon. So I always remember it like this. When you swim like this with both arms is the direction you have to go. So with this arm and this leg, it has to be this way. And with this arm, you swim this way if you do the frog. Really? And Wait, so you go that way. That. Because you always have to do it the, uh, the right way. Uh, so, no, I so, I grab one piece, I bring the bandage around, and then I bring the tension only in the front. And then I go around. Wait, wait, hold slowly, only in the front. slowly. How do you, like, around. how much space do you leave? So I try to make it even. So with him, we're not leaving much space because there's a lot really of even. bandage. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty even. Yes, I'm not counting it, but, like, it looks pretty even to me. Okay. Bit of tension. Rolling, tension. rolling. What? What do you prefer, and boots now, or bend? <coughs> wait, one second. And now when you get to the bottom, also one thing is that don't stand in front of the leg when you do this because if they bend the knee, it's happened to me, you get like the knee in the face. Okay, so I just go under a little bit and then I put a little bit of pressure up and then I finish off with the pressure in the front. And now we can slowly start to wrap <coughs> our way up the leg with kind of same even pressure. But you can see on him it looks a bit bulky because he has a bit of just a small leg. Think so how high are you going? Right so I'll just come right up to here, which is underneath the knee. And then I will finish it off. And you always want to try and aim. Look, it's not absolutely important, but I always try and aim to have the Velcro on the outside because if it's on the inside and the legs rub, it can undo and then your whole bandage uh, undoes. But if you feel my bandage, have a feel, you can feel that the pressure's even, right? Yes. Like there's not one bit is looser and one bit is tighter and then you can kind of see the gaps between the bandage are kind of even a little bit tighter at the at the bottom when i did the the first wrap uh, and then it goes even oh i'm blessed look at you oh, my back. <laughs> look at you <coughs> but i'm not an okay. expert yes sir so what do you like what do you like better the boots or the bandages i think i like bandaging because I feel like I can really get in like all the like nooks and crannies and everything and the, le and the leg is very like protected but it takes a lot of time and it's like it's one of those things that if you don't do it well um, you can do more damage than good okay usually. let me try it okay <laughs> okay here <laughs> I'll take the camera okay wait I have to remember step one just do the yeah set up your bandage first Good. You want to kind of go a little bit over the knee and over the the bottom as well. Yeah, good. A little lower? Huh? Does it have to be lower? No, that's fine. Okay. Good. Wait, I have to think swimming, so I have to go that way. 
You swim like that with that hand. No, you... with his hand like that. No, ready? Because no, wait, look, I look swim like that. You're doing it wrong. This is what. Give me the bandage. Now swim with both arms. Yes. See that? That's different. The motion. Look at. Look at your arm. Yeah, but look with this one. If I go like. You're doing that... it. Yeah, but you're swimming with this arm. Hello, you're on this side. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, but I'm right-handed. Yeah. So you swim just with your right hand. Listen. Swim with both hands. No, yes, but sir. I bandage with my Listen. right hand. Listen. Listen. Swim with both hands. Okay, yes. Swim. Yes. No, I want to see I'll you swim. Yes. So I'll put it back. Okay. Now, which side are you on? Yeah. Look at your look at your hand. Oh, I get it, but I just thought, sorry. I just thought that like if you do like this, just always have but it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. okay. I have to do this again. Okay, step on. But this is not going to be annoying for him. No way. It's just padding. Okay. Here's your bandage. <coughs> you start here? Yeah, underneath. Yeah, just under the knee. So you don't block any movement from the joint. That's a bit too high, no? I don't know. Because I can see so the knee from here. A bit lower. Just wanted to test if you were awake. Mm hmm. I'm awake. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. Here? Yeah. Good. And then come round. Good. And then now you only... So don't put too much tension there, no. just roll it. And then now you bring the tension Ooh. from the front. Oh no, he's going to move. No, you're fine. Yeah, good. Go. Yes, and I'll go down. And then, yeah, go around and then start to make your way down slowly. Because these bandages are long. Like that. Yes. Good. Not and then pull bad, a little bit. It? Not too tight, just enough so there's tension. Have you ever had a dead leg one got undone? No, never. Oh, I'm glad. Problem. Okay. When you pull, yes, so don't pull like, pull like really wide toward facing the back, like you're pulling it to the hind leg. Yeah, but that's do that's really. But look, look how big that that the thing is. Oh. Yeah, good. And then do one more, oh. and then <coughs> and then go under and up. Now, right? Yeah. And good. And now you don't have much bandage left, so you can. Now that you've done it, you can go up quite quickly. Fosh! <laughs> <laughs> and, and the bandage is gone. Good. Okay, yeah, keep the tension still. Don't and is it better it. to keep, like, close keep contact? Or? Yes, stay close, because... Okay, now go up a bit slower. Good, and this is the final one, so go at but the I highest. I feel like it's so much like this stuff. Go the highest, with that. That final wrap should be the highest one. Definitely don't have it in the... Highest. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry. Good. Like that? Yeah, not too high, but it should be the highest one. So you seal it all off. And then that's it. That's your... But do you see, look. Look at your lines. Sorry. Blonde hair. Do you see how, like, your lines are, like, facing up? You can see that you're pushing up, so you didn't have really much you bandage left. No, 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 but I'm saying... I'm saying you don't... You didn't have, like, much... A, a lot of bandage left, so you had to like rush that ending. But as long as the base is fine, I think that doesn't really matter too much of, of the outside. Okay, I don't think that's okay, bad. So step one. I don't think that's bad at all. Step one was the pad, then getting it here, just under the knee, then roll, 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 roll underneath, and up, up, up. You can make a song. And swim. Ah, oh, good boy. Okay, thank you. Now, um, so I have to keep practicing. <laughs> Do it for a few more years and then you'll have it. <laughs> Look at the height, like just like. <laughs> nah, it's a bit weird, mine, no? Well, it's maybe not as tight as mine. It's an art, yes, sir. You can't, you can't fix it all in one day. <laughs> no, it just takes a bit of time. Right. At least now I know a little bit how to do it, so well, we definitely know which one looks better, but it doesn't matter, I at least have an idea now. So I hope you like this video. Do you have any tips, any questions, or something else? Just let us know. And then good luck with bandaging, I would say. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.